Six o'clock, I'll call the meeting to order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GL Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's July 16, 2022 revised order extending remote participation by all members in any meeting of a public body, this meeting of the Select Board will be conducted both in person and via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and our parties with a right and a requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website. For this meeting, members of the public and committee members may attend the meeting in person for, for those who wish to do so remotely. For those of you who are not in person, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Pursuant to MGL 7C 30A 20F, after notifying the chair of a public body, any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting of a public body or may transmit the meeting through any medium. At the beginning of the meeting, the chair shall inform other attendees of any such recordings. This meeting is re being recorded by the Berkshire Reg, by the town of Great Barrington, and other members of the public, uh, Berkshire Eagle also. Any member of the public wishing to speak at the meeting must receive permission of the chair. The listing of agenda items are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. I am anticipating a fairly short meeting by looking at the agenda. So there are six panelists and 16 attendees on. Let's do a roll call of select board members since we are mixed both uh, virtually and in person. Garfield. Reed? Here. Eric Gabriel? Here. Uh, Ed Abrams? Here. Lee Davis? Here. And Steve Bannon? Here. <laughs> Start with the approval of minutes of December 19th, 2022, and January 9th, 2023. Do I have a motion? I have a motion to accept the minutes of December 19th, 2022, and January 9th, 2022. 2023. 2023, excuse me. Yeah. It says 2022. And I have one correction. Sure, go ahead. Maybe. On the, I don't know if it's important. On January 9th, the short-term rental registration fee vote has the final tally. It doesn't record how each person voted. I don't know if that's required. Yeah, it should. Have, we'll, we'll look at the recording and make sure we get that right. We'll add it to the minutes. Anything else? That's it. Okay, anyone else? All votes will be roll call tonight. Garfield? Aye. Eric? Aye. Ed? Aye. Lee? Aye. And aye. It's unanimous. Select board's announcement statements. Garfield? Nothing. Thank you. Eric? Uh, yeah, just got a few things. Um, last week, got a, another letter from the Department of Environmental Protection about high levels of H. A A five in um, the water in the uh, Housatonic Waterworks supplies, and I guess just by you know I printed out all the ones that came from this past year, and um, I guess I was hoping to get maybe town staff to have a letter drawn up to write to to the DEP asking for them to you know elevate their their oversight of this uh, situation. Um, so it just seems like there's been, you know, a lot of mailings back and forth, but, but personally, I don't feel that there's been any real, real action on it. And then um, also, I guess, and I'm sure Mark will touch on this with the thing, I'm, I'm assuming that we actually haven't gotten into the, the appraisers haven't probably gotten into the place either. So, uh, just, just curious uh, why there isn't any cooperation with this matter, and and what steps we can take to get this uh, process moving forward. So, I don't know if there's a I, board of health issue or something, but I, I assume you'll probably touch on it. So, I will. Thank, thank you. Ed, uh, do you have anything? Please. Uh, just a reminder that the housing subcommittee is meeting tomorrow night at five thirty. We are discussing the housing plan worksheet that we've been working on for several months now. We're diving into two items particularly. 
uh, a tax exemption for owners of affordable year-round rental housing and a real estate transfer fee to support affordable and workforce housing. So we'll be having a discussion particularly on those two items mm -hmm. and possibly um, also including, if time permits, uh, discussion on senior tax relief, uh, either uh, Clause 41C and or Clause 41A. So it's going to be a busy meeting tomorrow night. Uh, again, it's the Housing Subcommittee meeting at 5.30, and the agenda is posted, and we welcome everyone. Thank you. And I have nothing, so Tom Andrews is one. Okay, thanks, Steve. I just have a few updates this evening and then one add-on for you that I'll cover at the tail end. Uh, first up is Houston Waterworks, and I just wanted to uh, update the board and the public and let everyone know that our consultants are making progress on our appraisal. And we did receive a response, uh, going back to your question, Eric, from Houston Waterworks uh, to our request for a site inspection. So we provided the names of uh, staff from Raf Tellis, our consultant, that will be on site for that inspection. And at this point, we appear to be on schedule uh, for presenting a report to you or having Raf Tellis, our consultants, uh, present a report to you by mid to late February. So, yeah. so good news there. Next up on my list is the Houstonic Community Center Insulation Project. And I just wanted to uh, report that that project is well underway at this point and thank everyone for the patience while we complete this important work at that property uh, as of today the work is limited to the areas of the building that won't be impacted by uh, or sorry that won't impact sports and classes we've completed the um, open space work in the main portion of the gym so uh, they're working now to insulate and weatherize the areas over the bathrooms, over the former stage area, and over the meeting room. Um, so we're on schedule for completion of that project by the end of the week. And then the last update I want to share this evening uh, is something that I'm adding on only because we've received a number of calls and complaints, uh, questions, things like that related to prior years, parking violations, and the recent notices that Plymouth County sent out on our behalf. Um, so we'll get a, I just wanted to mention uh, publicly tonight that we'll get a press statement drafted this week and out to try to uh, reach a wider audience with, with this update. But in the meantime, I wanted to share just a few highlights with, with folks. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to say this is not a scam. Uh, we've, we've been asked if this was a scam because it's coming from Plymouth County. Um, but we have discussed this publicly at least on two or three occasions now. And Plymouth County does provide this service to at least 30 municipalities in the Commonwealth, and, and we are now one of them. And I believe there are three others in Berkshire County using their services. We'll, uh, I also wanted to just say we'll be reasonable in our approach with folks. I realize that this is an inconvenience. Um, so call us if you have questions. Call our treasurer's office and uh, attend the hearing if you wish to speak to uh, a staff member. Um, that's also another option for you. If you have a ticket that dates back beyond two years, uh, we ask that you pay for it. Uh, but if you don't intend to pay for it uh, and uh, we don't ever receive payment, the reality is we will not be marking you at the registry of motor vehicles. Um, if it did occur, if the violation did occur within the last 24 months and it's not paid or appealed, though, we will be marking people at the registry. So that will prevent you from being able to uh, register your car in the future and or renewing your license. So we hope that it does not get to that point. So again, reach out to us, we're here to help you. We're here to uh, answer your questions. And I just wanted to finally wrap this up by uh, mentioning how we got to this point. And, and the reality is uh, that due to staffing shortages and turnover in the treasurer's office over uh, the last several years, uh, no one has been managing this aspect of our parking program. So we're trying to get it back uh, to zero, to a clean slate, 
and manage it jointly with uh, Plymouth County going forward. So we're just trying to clean up this process and, and uh, make it more efficient going forward. So that's all I have. So this get back to Eric's request to make this a little quicker. Can you provide us at the next meeting with a letter which will approve? Uh, work with Eric on that, and then that way we can send it out right after we vote out instead of us asking for it in two weeks, Sounds and good. then having to wait another two weeks to approve it. So, just to, am, am I correct that you're looking for the EP to step up their enforcement approach? Yeah, enforcement and oversight. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll get something drafted and share it with you. Appreciate it. Yeah. That'll cut two weeks off of this. Sounds good. Um, I have a question on the parking tickets. If somebody has a question or a problem, who do they contact? Treasurer's office. Okay, in Great Barrington. Yeah, and we'll make that clear in the press release that we issued this week as well. Anyone else? Okay. Licenses of permits. John Ritz, 141 North Lane Road, Broadway permit. And I saw Jeff Collingwood on. Um, does select board have any more questions or concerns after our last meeting? Then let's start with a motion and then we'll have a discussion. We'll see how this goes. Lee, do you want to make the motion? Sure. I move that we approve the driveway permit for John Moritz at 141 North Plain Road as presented and ask that the applicant and or the design professionals representing the applicant confer with the building inspector and fire chief to address any fire protection concerns they may have at this location to the extent possible. Um, let want, me just ask if there were some conditions um, I was just, DPW recommended, should we include that in subject to conditions for DPW? Yeah, subject to conditions where you just um, Yes, I to amend it, uh, subject to conditions. Second. May I ask, is subject to conditions, would that be a, a sprinkler being installed or that has nothing to do with it? No, that would, you know, on advice of town council, we can only go so far. So Correct. that would be the building inspector or the fire chief, the building inspector in this case, who would make a determination. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, go ahead. Were we uh, discussing of something? Um, marked on the deed that it was suggested by the town owners. I remember there being talk of that. I don't know where it ended. I, I don't believe we can affect the no, deed. I think David's I think advice was to, mm. uh, that that would be outside of the purview. Outside of the purview. Of the purview. Okay. Anyone else? Let's take a roll call vote. See how we go. Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Ed. Aye. Lee. Aye. And I, it's unanimous. Jeff, you're all set. Yeah. Thank you. No, no problem. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. <laughs> thank you for thank you for coming. Okay. Charlie and Ed, thank you for being here. Karen Beckwith, Great Barrington Fish and Game, 338 Long Pond Road for one day beer and wine license. And this is split up, so um, let's do one at a time. Uh, number one is a license for February 11th, 2023 from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for their annual ice fishing derby, rain date, February 25th, 2023. Do I have a motion to approve? I move that we approve the license for February 11th, 2023 from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the annual ice fishing derby, rain date, 225, 2023 to Karen Beckwith. Second. That was something. And I think Karen, there's a Karen on, but if we need her, we'll pull her up. I, I will put her mic. Okay, I'm perfect. assuming that's Karen exactly. But yeah, I am too. Garfield? Aye. Eric? Aye. Ed? Aye. Lee? Aye. And I, it's unanimous. Next one is a license for February 12th, 2023, from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. for a Super Bowl party. I assume there'll be no rain date since it's indoors in the Super Bowls <laughs> on that day. Do you have a motion? I move that we approve the license for February 12th, 2023, from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. for a Super Bowl party to Karen, Karen Beckwith. Second. Discussion? Roll call vote, Garfield? Aye. Eric? Aye. Ed? Aye. 
Blake. Aye. And I, it's unanimous. And seven licenses for the annual ham shoots Sundays, February 19th, February 26th, March 5th, March 12th. Well, we got March 12th down twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we're gonna have to let me look at the license in here. Get the right date. February 19th, 23rd, 26th. Okay, so it's February 19th. Yeah, I got it. February 19th, February 26th, March 5th, March 12th, March 19th, March 26th, and April 2nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Do I have a motion? I move that we approve the seven licenses for the annual ham shoots on Sundays on February 19th, February 26th, March 5th, March 12th, March 19th, March 26th, and April 2nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. to Karen Beckwith. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Darfield? Aye. Eric? Aye. Ed? Aye. Lee? Aye. And I, it's unanimous. Um, Karen, thank you very much. All approved. Uh, Steve? Yes. I'm going to recuse myself on this one. Uh, the Friends of the Library that I'm uh, chair of is a sponsor. So I'm going to recuse. Which one? The next the event in. Uh, oh, the next event? Okay, that's, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Angela's mic. Yes. So next is Angela. Lomanto for the Housatonic yes. Improvement Committee yes. for a one day entertainment license for their event on Saturday, June 10th, 2023, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Angela, do you want to just give a brief description of the event? Sure. This is a rescheduled event from the beginning of October when we were rained out. Um, it's a party in the Alec Brubisky Park with um, food, music, um, hopefully dance, um, face painting a clown perhaps, but all around family fun for people who would like to come um, and it'll be a free event. Thank you. So everyone put this on your calendar, June 10th, 2023, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Do I have a motion? I move that we approve the one day entertainment license for the event on Saturday, June 10th, 2023 from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. to Angeli, Angela Lamado for the Housatonic Improvement Committee. Do I have a second? Eric? I sponsor it myself as well. I thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs> we have two people recusing themselves. So roll call vote, Garfield? Aye. Lee? Aye. And I, it's unanimous. Good luck. Thank you. Next, we just, we have a, a public hearing, but we've had the applicant request uh, permission to withdraw the public the uh, special permit application without prejudice. So do I have a motion? This is the uh, Southern Berkshire Chamber of Commerce, uh, Betsy Andrus, executive director for their um, construction of an existing, uh, replacing the visitor's booth at 362 Main Street. So they're asking to uh, withdraw, withdraw the okay. special permit without prejudice. Okay. I make I move that we withdraw without prejudice the special <laughs> permit to um, Betsy Anders of the Brookshire Southern uh, Chamber of Commerce. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Ed. Aye. Lee. Aye. And aye. aye. Unanimous. Okay. Citizen speak time. Charlie Williamson, go right ahead. Can you hear me, Steve? We can. Okay, Charlie Williamson, 48 Blue Hill Road. Just wanna bring up uh, on the traffic lights again. On Christmas day, I went through town of Great Barrington going down to Sheffield, roughly around 11 o'clock. And I had to stop for the red traffic light at Cottage Street, no cars and no pedestrians. I don't know why that light has to turn red when I go there, but it gets frustrating. I believe it should be flashing, but the town manager doesn't see that. 
Well, that's not the town manager. It's it's, it's a cost. It's there is a cost to it in the yeah, thousands of dollars. Yeah. So we we will find out though if the if it's working correctly, because I, it shouldn't be tripped if no one's there. I've seen I've seen it trip with pedestrians, but <clears throat> I've also seen it when there's no pedestrians and. That was about 11 o'clock Christmas Day, December 25th, and there was no one around, and, and the traffic was light to none. Okay, well, we will look into that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Elizabeth Rockefeller. Elizabeth Rockefeller, 284 Park Street, Great Barrington. Um, I'd like to agree with Eric about what he said concerning the Housatonic water. Um, <clears throat> after he got this letter, it seems, and I don't understand engineering or the chemicals or whatever, but common sense, if he hasn't fixed this problem in two years, shouldn't there be more pressure put on him by the state um, and have more people looking into this problem more often. Also, we know, I mean, you can be 99.9% .9 sure that our problem is gonna raise its ugly head again in this spring, this summer, when we won't be able to drink the water, do laundry, bathe children in it. And every year our taxes go up to the point where a lot of us, especially the elderly are almost sinking because of the taxes. And yet our town that we pay taxes to will not help maybe provide a five gallons of water a month to who's a tonic residents to give some relief. Um, and yet we get no help. It seems that, that we're just asked to give more and more and more and we get less and less and less. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Liz. And we are working on getting you some relief. So uh, we, we understand your, your frustration. Thank you. Okay, seeing no other hands, select board time. Garfield. Nothing, thank you. Eric. Yeah, just going back to Mark's um, report on the installation project at the Uzi Dome, there was a um, farmer's market there this weekend that I attended for a little bit. And I must say, uh, just looking around quick, um, it looked like uh, a good success the way it came out in the ceiling, uh, the dark color. I um, mean, it looked nice. Besides it being significantly warmer in there. Um, that was a key I was waiting for you to tell. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, the other thing I noticed, um, that building's always been uh, a lot of echo and sound bouncing around in it. It was... Um, the sound in there was awesome. Good. Like you can hear people, conversations went over the top. Uh, so yeah, it just, it seems great. So that, that's terrific. Yeah. Ed. Yeah. Lee? Nothing. And nothing. Media time. <laughs> mm -hmm. That wasn't a reflection on the media. <laughs> <laughs> I see uh, no hands up. So by unanimous consent, we are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank Everyone you. have a good night. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.